Hello, Rage Squitters. This is Gregs. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let this soak in. So, you know, when something just comes out of the blue and just grabs you and just surprises you. No build-up, no fanfare, nothing. You know you've been waiting for this for a long time and then it just drops on your lap and you're like, Yes! And that's how I felt. Just casually watching Gamescom opening night stream and about maybe 30-40 minutes in, this really strange looking trailer just starts to play and I'm like, This reminds me of Quake 4, you know, the stroke being manufactured in the factories, mass production, very gritty, very disgustingly gory and gross, but really cool. And then, pans out to the flesh pounds arms being attached, and then I just literally lost my shit. I wish I was recording, but it was it was a very euphoric moment, I must say. Like many of us, you know, I've been waiting for Killing 4-3 for a long time, and it's here. It's been announced, there's an awesome trailer, as you saw at the beginning, and it's just, wow. So what do we know about the game so far? The details are a little bit sketchy, you know, it's just been announced, so there's going to be more information coming, but we do know it's still six players. Six player cooperative game, I'm assuming it's going to be drop in, drop out as normal. That's standard, that's good. Six players is a really good number. Triple I have made the switch to Unreal Engine 5, which is fantastic news. That seems to be the way people are going these days. We're not sure what version of Unreal Engine 5 it will be though. It might be 5.1, 5.2. We shall see. It will be nice for them to take full advantage of the engine features such as Nanite and Lumen just to get the best visual clarity and hopefully some really good performance. Also, the game has gone deep futuristic. It's uh, going to be set in 2091, which I think is about 70 years from Kevin Floor 2, which is interesting. I mean, to look at the flesh pounds and the screenshots, they do look more cyberpunk this time if I may say, a lot more of, um, glowing neon lights, the visors look really cool on the flesh bounds, proper, proper menacing and futuristic, but how far are they going to take it I wonder, um, one of my pet peeves with Killing Floor 2 was the addition of EDARs, the robots which, I wouldn't say I lost sleep over having them in the game, it just, they just felt out of theme for me. And I'm not alone in that thought. There's a lot of people who don't like the EDARs. But, you know, we'll see. So there's reference to Nightfall specialists in the game. In the, uh, about this game on Steam. So that's going to be interesting. Are you going to operate as one unit? Or are we going to have individual characters like Killing Floor 1, Killing Floor 2, quirky characters, everyday survivors? Or is it going to be more specialists? As in soldiers this time, which kind of makes sense. I mean, if you look at the trailer at the end, uh, what appears to be gameplay footage, and if that is gameplay footage, bravo, trick wire, because it looks bloody phenomenal. Anyway, went off on a bit of a tangent there about the goodness of the graphics. Anyway, point being, it looks like a glory kill from Doom Eternal and Doom 2016, and it looks really cool. Is that going to be perk specific, or is it going to be a general sort of takedown that we use for every character in the game? That could be really interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out. So what I've done is I've jotted down a few notes, and in no particular order, here are my sort of wants and not wants. Personal preference of Killing Floor 3. So crawlers, I've put here, let's see him be more dynamic, more of a threat, 
and also give them the ability to crawl on walls and ceilings and basically they'd just be more agile and just more threatening because at the moment they're kind of like puppy dogs so that'd be nice to see big one that the community have been asking for for a while actually is weapon attachments uh, it could replace the upgrade system that we have in Killing Floor 2 at the moment it's literally just upgrades the gun and gives it, makes it more powerful no visual uh, enhancements or anything like that so it could be cool to see some stat altering weapon attachments I mean even if we don't alter the stats they look, still look bloody cool now this is a an absolute no-brainer but meat too so meat is uh, tripwise purpose-built gore feature for killing floor 2 meat is an acronym for massive evisceration and trauma and i have no doubt this is going to be a massive part of killing floor 2 i can't wait it's, hopefully it's going to be more gore zones more blood and just literally just going to paint the floor red which if you look in with the screenshots it looks as though the looks as though the persistent blood is back which is a good thing um, next I've got dynamic map events such as changing weather, environmental damage, also take note of the flesh pound barging through that door just breaking everything that looked amazing. So that could be a thing. Hopefully it's not a gimmick and hopefully it plays into the game and you know makes you think about your tactics and how stuff can be broken by yourself and by the uh, AI. That would be really cool. Um, perhaps have day night cycles. Maybe so. Well, there are some user maps that have got day-night cycles and it works really well. Also, one other thing, just a quick one, have more carnage on the streets. If there are streets, if there are labs, have more carnage. Dead bodies, blood, gibbs, you know the drill. Stuff hung up from the tendrils, you know, you know the deal. Make it so it's just absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. I've put a rework, or get rid of Edadars. They were never popular and I stand by that. It's up to the developers anyway, but, you know, they're a pain in the ass. They were all right to start with, but then they're going to the habit of just pissing people off. Uh, Cross-platform play, that seems to be a norm these days, and it'll be cool to be able to play with console players, and you'll get, obviously, you'll get more of a player base if you have cross-platform mixed up, which would be good. Uh, got here, story-driven campaign, which I think, I don't think it will happen. I've put story-driven campaign, like killing floor mod that had a really cool campaign it was a bit janky but it was pretty good at explaining what happened uh, maybe for the co-op people out there have it co-op enabled which would be cool uh, next we've got more modding support and better modding tools also more proactivity in fixing broken mods as a result of a game update which i think is quite important i think a lot of people gave up modding because the uh, mods that they authored were broken as part of a game update which I get you can't fix everything but you know you would feel discouraged if the mod you created I spent a lot of time created didn't work next up we have the welder I thought the welder was largely redundant in Killing Floor 2 uh, I don't think I'm alone in that thought uh, make it more relevant in Killing Floor 3 perhaps I don't that's I think that's largely going to come down to map design which hopefully there'll be some variation in between large and middle and small maps more like all that maps I mean, we have got quite a lot of map choice in killing floor 2 so yeah i mean i'm not sure how they would do that now here's one out of the blue ability to revive downed teammates now that would be interesting uh maybe we could have the option to toggle it as like a general feature or make it perk specific as in the medic, assuming you can have a medic this time around, that could be interesting. Or perhaps tie it to a difficulty. Maybe you can only have so many revives, depending on the skill level that you select. Could be an interesting one. How about a PvPVE mode? So basically, normal co-op, but with some added PvP elements thrown in for good measure. Now, World War Z did this, and it worked really well. So basically, you've got either team deathmatch or you've got free for all, but the zombies are part of the uh, equation and you can actually play them off against each other or play them off against the other team or the other enemies. I think KF2 PvP did this to an extent but obviously you could control the Zeds. Maybe bring that back. Smarter or even maybe more dynamic artificial intelligence. Maybe make smaller Zeds more agile. 
with the ability to traverse obstacles without getting stuck, because that did happen sometimes in the first two games. It was definitely less of a problem in Killing Floor 2, but it would be cool to see the AI do really cool stuff like maybe comes back to the crawlers on the walls and ceilings, maybe they could do certain things like mantle over obstacles or try to flank you, or maybe group up and do some crazy cool shit. Next up we have maybe more options for player customization, more body zones to customize your gloves, shoes. That is assuming that player customization is going to return, which I expect it will. I mean, it's ripe for microtransactions, which is a perfect segue to the next item. Cosmetics. Equipping cosmetics, mainly. Uh, make it easier to equip items rather than having to quit the game and go into the inventory and equip. Perhaps have a system where you can actually equip items whenever you want. If you want to change your suit or your weapon skin in the middle of the match, then so be it. Allow that. Speaking of weapons... What about the stabby slash you kind? What about expanding the melee system? Anybody who has ever played Mordhau or Chivalry or Chivalry 2 will know what I'm talking about. Make the melee more interactive, make it more expansive. Make it so we can control swipes in any direction rather than just the, the two that Canoe Floor 2 allows. Maybe allow for more precise hits. Make that go. Make that meat too, system shine. Let us see everything. Wanna see the blood and the guts, damn it. Let it happen. Wanna see it all happen in real time. Slicing that fresh pound's arm off. Slicing that clot's head off. Let all the blood just spurt out and just destroy everything. And bleh, amazing, yes. Oh. So here's one that might be a little bit out there. Enhancing the trader. Make the trader an, an actual AI that's on the map, running around, helping you out killing zeds perhaps let it give you missions you know in in order for you to actually end interact with the trader to buy things have little mini games perhaps might be a little bit too much i don't know but i thought why not it could be possible you never know could be cool actually and we have the last item on the list give the zeds a bit more variety so maybe have a Zed that's got his arm chopped off and it's dripping blood, but he's still coming towards you and he wants your brains. Or perhaps have a Zed that's got, just got blood all over him, or a Zed that's just shambling around on fire, not knowing what to do, flailing, or just doing something really strange, just to spice things up. I noticed on the Killing Floor 3 website, under the media section, there is a screenshot of, looks like one of the new cysts, maybe it's the new cyst design, but that would be cool to have those come at you in like a group of maybe 5, 10, 20. They're really small, they're really low threat in low numbers, but in high numbers they are a massive threat. Now that would be really cool to add those just to throw a curveball. You know, you think you're safe, you've just wiped out a massive horde, you walk around the corner and there's like maybe 10, 12 of them just sat there just picking each other's noses and just want to have some meat meat so he could just chase you when you're like on your last 10 hp and it's like oh yeah this is what it's about getting the blood pumping running healing myself up and just turn around just blast them all to bits that would be amazing <sighs> so anyway that felt nice anyway this is killing floor three it's coming we i don't think we're going to be ready for it i think it's going to be amazing i'm hope, hopeful that tripwire i'm just going to pull out all the stops and just go balls to the wall just yeah it's going to be amazing anyway that's my Killing Floor 3 video reaction to the trailer. I'm absolutely delighted. I can't wait. If you like this video, do the necessary. Subscribe, click a like, share it, comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this upcoming game. If you like Killing Floor, I think we're going to love this one. Anyway, ciao. Take it easy.